so I want to take a look at this class variance gem. Um, it's basically a way to dry up your Tailwind CSS code. Um, so with Tailwind, you'll just add a bunch of classes to create uh, a component. So um, we have this button component and it's just uh, a bunch of different uh, class names. So what I ended up doing here in Happy is um, basically creating a few components in CSS. So we've got this button class that you can add to things and it basically just implements all the Tailwind code. And then you have some modifiers. So we'll add hyphen primary to um, give it that purple color. Um, there's also then various ones like outline to just have a border around the outside of the button and things like danger for um, a bright pink button, small, rounded, large. So this is okay. Um, it helps whenever you're in the code to be able to go in and just add in the various states. Um, but I think this class variance approach is a little bit nicer. Um, so we'll go ahead and take this gem. So let's copy this and we'll do bundle add class variance. And then we'll just restart the real server. Now, if we come back to the app, uh, so we want to start with just a button and we'll come to the readme here and you can go down and see um, some examples. So we can see uh, this here and click copy. And this is basically um, shows us how to implement this in Rails. So we want to put this in a helper. So if we go ahead to app helpers, and we can create a new one. So let's call it uh, style helper RB. And then paste this in. So um, button classes is what we'll use here. And we can go to our button CSS and basically take all the default styles and so we can replace this then we've got variants and we can say uh size so we've got a size of small and a size of large so we can take this and do that and then we've also got our size of large And we'll just get rid of medium and XL. Then we've got color, so we can say color primary. And what we also need to do here is take the ones on hover and then just apply hover like that. Then we've got outline, danger, and rounded. And I think rounded can be applied at any time. So um, default, so let's keep medium in there. And color will default. I wonder, can we just get rid of that? So we've really got color, danger, And outline as well, I guess. Maybe it's not color, it's uh, style. So let's take danger, copy that across. And then do our hover. And then let's go for outline. Wow, 
like so. So that gets her size or style and then we can come across and let's see rounded is the only thing left I think so um, let's maybe say shape and let's see if that so now we should be able to take this button classes and go back to our billing so app view settings billing there we go and then there we have it so we've got our button primary large with full and we can replace that with button classes dot render and I think then we pass in options to that so we can pass in our different variants so we can say uh, style primary and size I don't know though we had a size on it so let's just see if this works now so if we hit refresh wrong number of arguments given zero expected one so wonder does it just not need this Okay, so it's not overriding from what I'm doing, which is actually confusing, is applying a, a base text color and background color. So really what we want there is style default. And this will actually make the code a little nicer. So we can put style default in here. And then we can set style default. Um, so those classes then will only be applied if if the style is default. So that should hopefully fix our issues with the color, which it does. That works better. And then the other thing that we added on, we added a width full. So I think we've got rounded. Um, maybe we also then have, I wonder if you can have multiple. So if we go back here and we say shape fill, that works. And then I wonder, can we do both? So can we say fill and rounded? No, so let's see, is there a way to do that? Oh, so this is if it's block or not. So what we can actually do is go to style and then we just have full and rounded as uh, values like that. And then we can go in here and instead we can do uh, full true, rounded true. And now that works. Now I didn't actually want it to be a rounded button, but I just wanted to test that if if that was supported or not. So we have fill true and yeah, that all works. So um, this library looks like a really nice way of composing your Tailwind classes. Um, what I was doing here is a bit messy and you're kind of writing CSS style code with this weird apply stuff in it and it just feels completely out of place because with Tailwind you shouldn't really be thinking about CSS structure or even uh, precedence of things so like knowing that because primaries look defined lower down text white will take over text gray 
and all of that kind of stuff you just shouldn't have to think about and so I think this is a much nicer way because you're just writing a little bit of Ruby code um, you're still just using the Tailwind class names you're not writing any CSS and it just helps you define these things so like we have button classes we might also have it for form input fields or anything like that um, and I think I'm definitely going to start using this uh, library in my projects so I hope you enjoyed looking at that as much as I did and please subscribe if you want to see more content like this uh, thank you